Hello, good evening. It's a Tuesday evening, 7.12 p.m. here in Japan, a very cold evening, dreary, dark evening. Well, tonight I was going to talk about uh, information, and the lore of love, uh, toiling uh, for that uh, which we love, and uh, all kinds of great things like that. But I had a change of heart, so we have a new agenda. Tonight, I'm going to talk about something that is very dear to my heart, very close to my heart, and that is a film. A magical film. This film is called Troll 2. Here's the box, the recently re-released uh, double feature by MGM, Troll and Troll 2. First, bypass Troll. You don't need to watch it. Waste of time. Um, do something else. Iron your, your clothing or something. Don't watch Troll. It's awful. Troll 2, on the other hand, you need to see it. Okay, this is a this is a necessity. Uh, da Vinci Code can wait. Okay, the Inside Man can wait. You don't need to see these. You do need to see Troll Two. Why you ask? That's what I'm going to tell you tonight, and I've broken it down into ten, possibly eleven parts. Uh, we'll say ten because ten sounds more official and more powerful. So we'll leave it at ten. Part one. This film was a gift. This film was given to me as a Christmas present last year from a botanist, a real botanist. Now, if you watch the movie, you'll understand the relevance. This botanist traveled all the way from America to Japan, and we met, chance meeting, and he brought Troll 2 with him. That's what kind of movie this is. It's so powerful. You'll end up bringing it with you on trips. You'll need it. It's like a drug. And that's what this movie is. It's a gift. A cinematic gift. That you will watch over and over and over. And every time you'll catch something new, something different, something unique, and something inspiring. Second, this film, it's not a horror film, it's not a uh, Harry Potter fantasy uh, waste of time. This is an adult fairy tale. This is an adult fairy tale, fairy tale for adults. We forget the importance of fairy tales when we were children, and some of you watching this may be children. You like fairy tales, if you're children. Uh, if you're an adult, you've probably stopped watching fairy tales. You probably go to the video store and um, rent something other, uh, utterly meaningless, like Spider-Man or something like that. You don't need that stuff. It's a waste of time. You need to realize the importance of thinking like a child, the creativity, the spontaneity, the wonder. And when you watch this movie, I can't promise you, but I can just say that those things will become illuminated again. It's an adult fairy tale. Keep that in mind at all times. The story. The story is very simple, yet very deep family from the city goes to the country, a kind of house exchange program. They go to Nilbog, uh, this idyllic country town in, in Utah, beautiful, picturesque. But the town has a secret. I don't want to give the secret away. If you haven't seen the movie, it's a very, very important secret. Trouble. Magic, black magic, veganism, cannibalism, erotica, trust, friendship, betrayal. 
Troll 2 has it all. Watch the movie. The acting in this movie is superb. And the fact that it's superb is that it's actually non-acting. This acting is non-acting. Well, what is non-acting? When I used to live in Korea, a friend and, my, a friend and I used to rent uh, bad movies, bad quote-unquote movies, all the time. We would just fill ourselves with these low-budget, cheap, independent, amateur uh, pieces of filth. But we discovered something within those movies, and what we discovered was this. That the best acting, the only true acting, is non-acting. People who are non-actors are able to become the character in a certain way that professionally trained actors cannot. And in Troll 2, everybody seems like a non-actor. And that's what makes it beautiful. That these performances are from the heart, from the gut, they're from the loins. They're beautiful. The directing, the shots, composed perfectly. You don't need to watch Godard. Okay, you don't need to watch Scorsese, or you don't need to watch, uh, I don't know, whoever's popular these days. You don't need to watch them. Don't waste your time. The cinematography, the directing in this film, sum up the past ten years of filmmaking. Beautifully composed shots. That's all you'll get. 90 minutes worth of beautifully composed, perfectly executed shots. Check it out. The writing. Now keep in mind that the crew, the crew was Italian, filming in America, and the script, which I own, was written in English. So it's fascinating that you have non-native speakers of English writing a script in a foreign tongue. What happens is a certain kind of linguistic play that is missing in a lot of movies. You don't get that anymore. And you don't realize what you're missing until you watch the movie, Troll 2. You'll be quoting lines from this movie for years. They'll stick with you. If you like this movie, there is Troll 3. In the US, it's called Crawlers. And if you listen closely, you can hear some of the same music. Now, I haven't touched upon the music yet. The music is some of the best music I've heard in the past 20 years. Hands down. Carlos Maria Cordio's score is perfect. Progressive jazz fusion synth uh, weirdness beautiful weirdness and his music is also in crawlers and you'll hear some of the same tracks also quest for the mighty sword highly recommended the costumes the costumes in troll 2 the makeup the design the feel the image it's timeless it's not a 1980s film, it's not a 1990s film. It's timeless, it's an adult fairy tale, remember? The costume designer, Laura Jemser. You may remember her from the Emmanuel movies. Beautiful woman, and also a beautiful costume designer. Quest for the Mighty Sword, she's in it, as are some costumes from Troll 2. Highly recommend it. Spread the word. Watch Troll 2 first by yourself to soak in the glory of the film. Second time with some friends. Spread it. Again, it's like a drug. You'll get addicted. Be careful. Third time, you're going to want to invite more people and more until it just starts growing and mutating. Do your part. I did mine. Watch the movie, enjoy the movie, and have a safe, wonderful evening. Keep warm, take care, goodbye.